Oh, bug. Hey guys, this is Katie. So tonight I'm going to do my favorite nail polish video. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 products. I was trying to make it 10 that I'm going to show you. Actually, 10 because two aren't nail products. Um, well, they're nail products, but they're not nail polishes. What do you guys think of this vest, first off? Um, I'm really into... Graveyard Girl's got a really good sense of style right now for what's in style for follow. F follow? Fall. I really love her blog, and we have the same exact taste. Like, literally everything she talks about on her channel, I'm like, oh my god, I'm obsessed with that, like, already. Like, she always talks about Johnny Depp, and, I mean, I don't think there's any, like, pre-goth girl or pre-emo kid or pre-scene kid that doesn't love Johnny Depp. Like, he basically is the actor of those genres, especially hipster kids. Um, but I found this vest. She's really into Hunter S. Thompson right now, and I just finished reading, um, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Um, I read the rum, no, I just finished reading the Rum Diaries? Yes. No. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, but I've previously read that. Um, but this is the vest. She's really into Hunter S. Thompson and is, like, using that for her fashion inspiration, so I thought I'd take a page out of her book for that. Um, just for my fall, because I'm kind of going with this Tex-Mex southern style for fall because i'm really obsessed with mexican prints um i've literally my bedroom is covered in mexican blankets that my best friends collected for me when she goes to the caribbean and stuff so and for those of you who don't know i also speak spanish and really love mexican culture so i wanted to emulate that in my wardrobe um i did this whole sugar skull thing which is a departure from what i looked like when i was in grade 11 i feel really proud that i was like ahead of the times because i did like the sugar skull look for as popular who hipster but anyways i want to show you this vest that i made i got this at value village i'm also thinking of incorporating this into an army style outfit because my dad's friend is in the navy and he has access to a lot of army surplus stores and i've been dying to have a beret because i'm like obsessed with che Guevara and the cuban revolution um and i'm convinced that if i wear a beret i'll look like a female che Guevara. i really have no idea um but I get, i'm getting a beret so i'm excited but this is the vest. It was originally long sleeve. As you can see, I cut them off. I got it at Value Village. It was brand new with a tag on, too. It was a men's button-up kind of um, khaki army green shirt. Actually, one of my ex-boyfriends had a shirt exactly like this, so I'm kind of wondering if it was his and he just donated it to Value Village. Um, but I got it for 2 bucks, so it's not really bad. If I don't love it, I can just throw it away or give it back. Um... But my best friend, I wore this out to dinner time, and she was like, I don't know how I feel about this. But when I, like, put it together with my outfit with, like, the headband and stuff, I think she really liked it. Um, I'm thinking of taking it in at the waist a bit more just to give myself a little bit of push in the cleavage area. Not that I need it, but, yeah. That sounded really cocky. I don't mean, like, ooh, look at my big boobs. I just mean, like, <coughs> it would just be an obscene amount of cleavage. Um, so, yeah. I have to sneeze, I think. No. Um, check out my university swag right here. How much cooler is this than normal university swag? Just saying. I thought that was cool. Anyways, so I'm going to show you my favorite nail products. Um, I don't have a lot of high-end nail polishes. And what I consider high-end are Chanel or NARS. NARS is like $21 a bottle. I'm not going to spend $21 on a bottle of nail polish. It's just ridiculous. But, um, I have a lot of OPI and China Glaze and stuff, so I consider doing that for my video. Just my brother. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Anyways, so I was going to show you my top 10 products, but the two things that I have to show aren't really nail polishes. i just start there. Okay, so the first thing I have is, this is China Glaze's Peppermint Oil. I got this for Christmas, actually. My mom just, like, picks up random things at Winners, which I think the state's equivalent to that is TJ Maxx. I'm thinking it's TJ Maxx where you guys have like designer brands for less but my mom just picks up gift sets at winners all the time and then just gives them to me all on Christmas so I didn't actually buy this but I really love it and what you do is you just take the like applicator and just swipe it across the cuticle on your finger and massage it in and it just prevents you from getting like hang nails and stuff and keeps your cuticles massaged the second thing is an OPI product this is I got this in a gift set actually and there's a nigga what what it's um, from the Skin Quenchers collection, the uh, OPI Aloe Juice, and this is, thank you. Are you in hockey yet? 
No, I got Oscar Trevor. Oh, okay. Go, Robert. Anyways, that was my brother. Um, <laughs> my stepbrother. So this is the Coconut Melon um, Hand and Body Lotion. It's not really enough to use on your body. I just use it on my hands, but it smells fantastic. The other one I really like out of the set was the Ginger Lily, but I couldn't find that to show you. Oh my god, this video is going to be really long, I can tell. Okay, let's get going. So I'm going to show you my, I guess my Holy Grail nail polishes, my favorite. Um, I don't have a huge collection, but I'll start with, I guess, the lower end and work our way up. So the first one I have is, this is a Sally Nansen, Sally Nansen, who is Sally Nansen? Sally Hansen product. This is uh, the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Fast Dry Nail Color. And this is in the color Sonic Boom. And it is just this like insanely bright, corally red. Oh, sure. I know that's super bad and I shouldn't be doing that because it's going to ruin my teeth, but whatever. It's like this crazy coral red. Um, it's got a really, the thing I like about these nail polishes is the brushes are really great. The only thing I don't like about them is they chip really easily. Um, but I love this color. And I got this at Walmart, like, earlier in the year for, like, three, four dollars. Not really sure. Um, another polish I don't have here is actually an Essie polish. It's a kind of glitter polish. It's called Set in Stones. Set in Stone or Set in Stones, but that's a really good product, so I also got that at Walmart. Um, the next three are all from the same company. I don't know if you have these in the States, but I just started seeing them in Canada. And uh, the first nail polish I ever had from them was this. And this is from a little gift set. Um, this is Sinful Colors Professional Nail Polish. This is a mini from a gift set that I got. This is in the color pink or 871. And it's just this really nice um, kind of bubblegum baby pink. The smell actually isn't so bad on these. Um, but if anybody's seen my Gloomy Bear nails that I did, uh, I think in like February to Mayish, somewhere in between this, this was my base color here. Um, and I got that for Christmas. So I would love to have this in a bigger size, but I can't find it. I have two other simple nail polishes. The first one is this is Savage, color 950. It is this really great turquoise blue. Now, before you're just like, oh, that's just kind of like boring, you know, it's just like a blue. Um, the cool thing about this is it dries to a matte finish. So there it is there. Um, and I like that because I don't have any matte nail polishes. I got this at Lawton's for $3.99. Actually, $3. These were on sale $2.99 each. Um, so I got them. I was like, two for six, not a bad deal. Uh, considering one OPI polish or one China Glaze polish is like $6. So that was a good price. And I really like this. I wear this all the time. This is a really great summer color. Plus, I love the name Savage because during the summer I was obsessed with Savages. And I'm trying to look like that for fall. The next one, which my friend says makes me look like a mermaid when I wear it, um, really has no relevance to the name. I don't like this. This is called Kissy or color um, 1102. And it is this, you can't even see it. It's this crazy, sparkly, um, navy blue with, like, green duochrome in it. And this does not dry to a matte finish, but that's it there. And I really like this. This is a really good summer color. I think this also might be good for winter. This color looks really cool underwater. Then I have one China Glaze polish in my favorites, which I actually actually just bought, and I really love this color. Um, this is from the Breast Cancer uh, Awareness Collection. Um, I think that's what it's called. I found this at Chatters today, so. But I literally have had this less than five hours, and I'm obsessed with it. Like, the girl had it on at the cash. She was like, I've had this on for a week. It hasn't chipped yet. I didn't put a top coat over it. And I was like, this color is gorgeous, so it is now my holy grail. This is called United, and it is like this um, multicolored glitter with a pink, like a like rosy pink base. Gorgeous! And I got this for six sixty seven, I think. I'll show you the wand. This is like three D glitter, which I love about this. It's so awesome. 
The next one is an orally polish. It's actually my only orally polishes. I used to have a lot. But I'm wearing this one right now. Sorry, it's chipped and horrible. But this is from the Orly's Dark Shadows collection. If anybody knows, I'm obsessed with Dark Shadows. I just, like, I don't even know if I have it down here. Yeah, I do have the DVD down here. Dark Shadows. But not just that. I love the Tim Burton remake. But this is from the Tim Burton collection of Dark Shadows. And this is Mysterious Curse, color 40433. And I'll show you this. This was, like, I'm going to wear this for fall every day. It's like this really like kind of opalescent, per dark, dark, dark purple. And it, from really far away, it looks black, but it's just like so like, uh, I love the pearl finish in this. This is probably my, one of my favorites, like the top three, top five, actually. I think I have a top, top three. The next one is another color I just got tonight, but, um, I've been so excited for this to come out forever since I heard they're going to do the Germany collection. This is my OPI, and this is called Unforgettably Blue. Unforgettably Blue, sorry, Greta is the... Um, and it's just this really nice kind of deep uh, pearl finish blue. I really think that the big colors for this season right now are the... Um, the deep toned purple and the deep toned blue for nails especially but because in the rest of the germany collection they were all purples like this uh like Susie and the seven dusseldorfs or i can't remember the other ones but they were all like that so the unforgettably blue this is really similar to the one in the spider-man collection i don't remember what this is called i originally wanted um I remember Oktoberfest or every every month is Oktoberfest, but in the bottle, like on the pamphlet, which I have somewhere, it looked like this like kind of purple, but when I went in the store and actually saw it, it was like burgundy, and I was like, this is not what I want. Uh, the next one is a limited edition one. Um, this is from the Spider-Man collection. I was between this or Peridon from Chanel, but I got this one, and this is Just Spotted the Lizard. It is this gold, blue, green, kind of duochromed, um, blue and green gold. And I think this is fabulous. It looks kind of flat on, but if you get your hands wet or put it underwater, or even like the wet finish in the bottle, it is the f most freaking amazing gold. Oh my God. So amazing. I've ever seen. And the next one is also a limited edition. I don't go through nail polish that fast though. This is my, in my top five, this is Mermaid's Tears from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection on Stranger Tides, and it is this kind of mute, um, kind of mint green. A muted mint is what I would call it. But this is my favorite color to wear in the spring or under shatter. It is just this nice muted mint color. Um, and I got this at Watton's for 7 or $8. And the last one is a staple. I think a lot of people love this and they're classics, even though some people think that this trend is being outplayed. This is the Black Shatter, just flat Black Shatter. Uh, this is my second bottle. I go through it a lot. Um, but yeah, so that was my nail polish collection. I'm actually going to take off the polish I'm wearing now and put on the United my Chinaways. Um, I hope you guys have a great night.